Today's video is going to be about a free app called Khan Academy Kids that I absolutely love for Leo to use. And I know that when he uses it, he is learning. I'll show you what it all has to offer before you download it. But first, let me take you to the parent section. If you would like to, you can always pause this to read. They're about us, who they partner with, and also a little bit about the library and how to see how your child is progressing. Now, once we click out of the parent section and go to the home page, you're just going to want to click on your child's name. And this is what it's going to look like. These five characters on bottom are the main characters. Your child can click on any one of them and interact with whichever character that they choose. Now, as your child completes tasks, they do win little prizes that can actually go in whichever character's room. But let me just show you an example quickly. Tap on my bug habitat so we can explore. Welcome to my room. Tap on the closet. Hi, welcome to my room. Now going back to the main page, if you just slide over here, your child can actually follow this little road map and click on any one of these activities, or they can actually just click in the middle, the little house here. From here, it'll take you to the library and you can pick on any specific category. And just for an example, let me click on books. Your child has the option to either read by themselves, you can read to them, or they can actually listen to the book being read to them. So let's go to the next section, which I am I love this part. It's their nature section, and they are partnered with National Geographic. As you can see in the Siberian Husky section, it has a green check mark because we've read this one. If you haven't noticed, in my previous videos, I do have a Husky. And then as I scroll, you'll see just a few more specific categories that they have, such as numbers, more letters, learning about feelings, and an early reader section. And as I scroll further down, you will see again the wildlife animal section that they just categorized. Now they don't just have animals, they have other things. Like if I go, let me scroll a little bit more, they have a vehicle section. And as you can see, he loves vehicles and there's a check mark on almost all of them. <laughs> and we have even more check marks here with us reviewing our letters. We haven't focused too much on the math section, but it is very, very good. This is actually a reminder for me to get him some lessons on here to do. They have addition, subtraction, they even have time. Now for the reading, they also have the letter sounds and letter combining, which is very good to know as your child is advancing in reading. And if they watch YouTube, they probably know every super simple song out there. I believe here they go all the way up to number 20 to learn and then it starts getting into math and also about shapes and measuring. This here is going to be the reading and letter section. Again, different sounds, different letters that you can actually focus on. So if you don't know where to begin, this is a great start. And they also have a create or art section that your child can draw and color different things. As you can see, my artist here has drawn a couple of circles. And as I continue to scroll, you will see more and more of his artwork that it keeps. So you can kind of see where they are, how they're progressing, not just scribbling and actually drawing a shape. Now we are in the offline category to, for whatever reason, if you don't have the internet, your child can still learn. ABC section, this section here has a lot of games that he really, really enjoys. So let me just click on this one here. This one he actually has to spell. Spell the word 
jam. Good thinking. Spell the word bed. Good work. So let's go back to the letter section. They also have tracing and it'll guide your, your child on how to trace the letter correctly. They also have a beginning and ending sound section, which is very good, very clear. And it's also a little game that your child plays. They go specifically also into vowels and letter basics and sounds. I'm just gonna quickly scroll through the number section. Again, your child can trace the numbers. And as you can see, it just has all the basics there. Now the next section here is the reading section and language section. I believe their reading section is their largest section, so I can just keep scrolling. That's how many resources are on here. Another great category that they have is a logic section and critical thinking. And just look at the categories and the topics that they go over. I mean, you guys, this is just a golden app, I'm telling you. <laughs> I just love it so much and they teach about habits and feelings and critical thinking skills and just so many things. So look at all of this and it's all free. Okay, you guys, and that's a wrap. Again, this app is called Khan Academy Kids. It is free and they also have a teacher profile setting that I will do a video on here shortly. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.